How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. The topic today is weight loss. Uh, more specifically, it's how much easier it is to lose weight when you don't drink alcohol. Um, alcohol is uh, nutritionally deficient, right? It's got no nutrients in it at all. You know, there might be nutrients in the stuff that you're drinking with it, but you don't get that because of the alcohol. You could get that if the alcohol wasn't present, right? Um, it saps your energy, it saps your nutrients out of your body because alcohol is a toxin and the more your body has to eliminate a toxin from your body, the uh, more energy that requires, right? And it's taking the nutrients and the vitamins and the minerals that are already deficient from your body and it's putting them to use in places where it shouldn't be putting them to use, right? Because, you know, alcohol drinking is something that you do deliberately. Um, it doesn't have to happen, but it is happening, right? And one of the things I noticed about myself was that when I was drinking, I was also using a lot of um, fast food because of the fat content, right? Your body but if, if your body is, is using up a lot of energy uh, fast in trying to get rid of this toxin out of your body, then at the end of the day, it's going to require a bit more um, fuel to try and uh, keep up. So the best form of fuel is fat. I mean, fat's got nine grams of uh, nine calories per gram um, compared to protein, which is only four, and carbohydrates, which is only four. So the more fat you can get into your body, the more um, calories, the more uh, energy that your body's got. So obviously, if your body needs more calories quickly, it's going to push you towards eating more fat. Where's the best source of fat in our diet? Fast food, uh, junk food. Um, I ate loads of it, not only when I was drinking. Um, of course, when you're drinking, you sort of, you lower your inhibition, so, you know, calories and uh, calorie counting all goes out the window um, and especially when I was on the hangover stage you know this was just you know your body is really fucked up at this stage you know your body is fighting very diff hard to, to, to get rid of the toxins out of your system and um, those built-up toxins and as I say alcohol can only really um, sorry your body can only deal with one uh, unit of alcohol so uh, per hour and a unit of alcohol is I think it's eight grams of alcohol something like that uh, And outside of that hour outside of your body being able to deal with that then This alcohol is just floating around your system doing its damage um, Your body also needs um, a supply of different enzymes in order to break down this thing That's why your body can only do it. You know one unit an hour and um, once this supply of enzymes is gone then uh, it has to wait until more are produced and how does your body produce these enzymes out of the food that you eat right so if it doesn't get it out of the food that you eat it's going to start eating you you know start taking the enzymes from wherever it can because it has to to get them otherwise you're going to be so toxified that you're going to die right so you know as i say when you're drinking you're less likely to count calories um when you sort of you're eating all this fast food there's so much calories in that and there's so much so many calories in the in the alcohol itself that you're bound to put on weight i mean after you quit drinking you're less likely to eat fast food because you're more than likely going to make better choices we're going to think things through and think well um i don't need this anymore in my life this is not a good thing for me to eat all this fast food there's nothing wrong with a bit of fast food every so often but it's the constant consistent intake of fast food that does the damage um, and you know your body is not craving for so much fat it's not craving for it's still going to crave for the highest levels of calories in order to get the job done which is fat but won't crave for it as as much as it would have done when you were drinking how fast are you going to lose weight it all depends on on you doesn't it you know it depends on on who you are it depends on what you're eating, what you're replacing the alcohol with. Um, I lost 40 pounds in 
a little over six months when I stopped drinking. And a lot of that was due to the fact that there was, there was just uh, no alcohol going in. I was losing an average of about two pound, um, two pound a, a week, sometimes more, sometimes three. Um, but I wasn't eating crap food. I changed my diet. It wasn't until after that six months that I really started looking into my diet and changing a lot of that stuff. But anyway, so it depends. If you if you replace the alcohol with something else that is equally as um, calorific, cal calorifically dense, then you're not going to lose the weight, right? Uh, if you if you it all boils down to um, calories in and calories out. So. If you burn more calories than you're putting in, you're going to lose weight, right? If you uh, reduce the amount of calories, no matter how you do that, either by eliminating the alcohol or eliminating the uh, fast food and the crap food that you've been eating while you're drinking, you know, then uh, you're going to lose weight. So that's it for today. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Take care of yourself, keep the alcohol out of your mouth, onwards and upwards. Good luck.